Hey everybody, it's Tim, your teeter trainer with your workout on the free step for the day. Today, I'm gonna call this the rev up because in a short amount of time, we're gonna rev up your metabolism, get your fat burning, get your heart racing and your lungs pumping, and get you feeling good in a quick amount of time. Like always, we're gonna do our very short, two minute, nice, light warm up, get that blood flowing, get everything loosened up and ready to go, get our knees, get our elbows going. This is gonna be a very fun one because we're gonna do 30 seconds of hit and 30 seconds of steady for three rounds. We'll do three minutes of what they call steady state or list training. And then, that's light intensity steady state. And then we're gonna do three rounds of that where we do our hit and our lists. And then we're gonna do our cool down and you will be off and running feeling great with your workout done. All right, one more minute of our nice light warm up. We're still burning calories. We're still starting out and we're getting our breathing right, making sure our posture is good for this process. We're gonna grab the handles anywhere that we see fit. Make sure our resistance is where we want it to make sure we have some good resistance for when we get to the times we're gonna be pushing hard and pumping fast. 30 seconds from now, we're gonna do our first round of 30 seconds. We're gonna do that three times, on off for 30 seconds. 15, prepare yourself. Here it comes. 10, already burned 30 calories. Here we go in five, four, three, two, and let's go for 30 seconds. 30 seconds, let's turn this up a little bit more, get that resistance going. Feeling good, remember to breathe. Pump away. We got 15 seconds. Go at your pace and your intensity to get your best workout. 10 seconds. Feeling good? We're gonna do this two more times for the first hit section. Three, two, and one. Nice and steady. Slow that down. This is our recovery period. This is our steady state. All right. Good time to catch your breath. Good time to turn that up a little bit more. Feeling good. 10 seconds, we're gonna go again. Again, your high intensity section is whatever it is to you. Five, four, three, two, and let's go. Rev it up. Watch my calorie meter down there cranking away. Dreaming about what I'm gonna have. Not gonna offset all these calories, I'm gonna burn more than I go. Burn more than I eat and put back in. But it is fun to know that I'm burning and making space for some delicious treats today. Five seconds. And four, three, two, and one. Nice and steady. There we go, slow that down. Still feel like you are burning away, it's because you are burning those calories. This is a way that so many good trainers and people training hard around the country are getting that metabolism revved up and getting their cardio done in a shorter period of time. Five seconds, last round before we do our three minutes of steady state and go. Crank away, get those arms going. For you, it could be a push or a pull. Definitely feeling it. Feeling it in my legs. Starting to feel it in my arms. Definitely feeling it cranking away in my chest where my heart is pounding away. Five seconds and four, three, two, and one. All right. Now, we're gonna cool this down and then do three minutes at a steady state Nice pace. There it is right there. I adjust mine a lot throughout to keep my steady state and my hit with the perfect resistance. Hope you're enjoying that. Those bursts, we liken those to, if, if you're trying to picture the body you're trying to build or the conditioning you're trying to get into, 
Think of how sprinters train in those short bursts and how beautifully molded in shape they are. Their aerobic capacity, their heart and lungs are very strong and they run in very short bursts. They don't run two and three and five miles. So that's one of the ways that the people working on the science of exercise have adapted this for everyday training for those of us just trying to stay in good shape, just trying to, just trying to keep our fitness head above water by doing those short bursts, getting maximum amount of work in in shorter periods of time because we're all very busy. Even if you're not busy, not everybody wants to slug away on their workouts. They wanna find fun ways to access their best life and access their best physical condition. This is definitely one of those ways. All right, two more minutes of steady, folks. Two more minutes and we're gonna crank up our next section. Oh, those calories on my calorie meter just ticking away. I don't know if you train with music going, how it is you like to be inspired and motivated, or if this is that meditative moment, just cranking away on your free step, I know my family members that have their free step all have a different way. I know mom likes to watch her stories while she's doing it. My kids like to crank away. My wife will still get a workout in and go between watching movies, <laughs> a lot of them animated. <laughs> and I've usually got some kind of intense music or intense story going on, some intense movie. And I'll come out and she's watching some beautifully animated picture. All right, 45 seconds, 45 seconds, and we're gonna do our next round of hit cycles with 30-30. All right, 30 seconds. I'd like to give you a countdown to prepare yourself emotionally and to know exactly where we are in the workout. Coming up. Looks like all told, we're gonna to burn about 300 calories this workout. Of course, that's different for everybody, but this calorie meter has been pretty accurate for what I burn during the course of a 15 to 20 minute free step workout. 10 seconds, here we go, prepare. Get my posture right in five seconds. Four, three, two, and let's go. Rev it up. Some people like to do their hit like they're in a sprint without their arms, I do as well. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. And five, four, three, two, and one time. It's actually a little bit more resistance on there for this next round. Make sure we're getting maximum benefit. Maybe that was one too many clicks. Ah, oh, so much fun. 15 seconds. I am at these higher speeds. Gonna go to my free step sprint form that I like to use without my arms. Here we go in three, two, and one. Let's go. Arms tucked in so they are safe. Yes. Maximum, maximum speed for that sprint section. It's only 30 seconds. 15, we're halfway there on this round. We're gonna do one more, and that is our second round already. Five, four, three, two, and one. Slow it down. There we go. Boy, since we took that to another level, those calories have really started to pile up that we're burning. Breath's getting a little short. This is perfect. Actually, it'd be a great time if you have it. Reach down and get a quick drink of water. Always stay hydrated. I like to drink a fair amount before and a lot after. Five seconds, here we go. Two, one, final sprint in this section. Let's do this. Come on, pick it up. Here we go. Feeling good. 
20 seconds. 15. 10. You got this. And five, four, three, two, and time. There we go. Slow this down for our next three minutes of steady state. Feels so good. Get that breathing going again. Nice and easy. Get everything back to normal. And that is the beauty of the hit and list training. The difference between that high intensity sections and those steady states. Get everything as you're breathing back, get your heart rate back down. Just like a sprinter would out there on the track. They take all that time between sprints. Oh. Feeling good. Hope you're feeling good. Hope you're enjoying working your way through all the different workouts, connecting with the trainers, finding ways to stay in shape and feel good. Two more minutes of steady. All right. It goes by so fast. One of the things I absolutely love about high intensity interval training is you get so much done in such a short period of time now I do want you to keep in mind, as I say, with every workout, your intensity, your hard work is at your level. You know what that is. Your feet may not be going as fast as mine, your resistance may be a little higher. We all have different fitness levels. All right, coming up, we're gonna do one more round of our sprints in 10 seconds. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Dig it out. We're gonna look up after this time. They will have flown by and you'll be feeling good. As the coach says, hit the showers. Coming up, 15 seconds down already. Good breathing. Good breathing in five. Four, three, two, and one. Slow it down for our steady state. That's it. Ah, feels good. On this last one, after our two more sprints, we'll do a two minute cool down as our steady state. You will have put in an amazing 15 minute workout that you're gonna feel great about. Approximately 15, a little more. Five seconds, next round, here we go. Get ready to pick it up. And go. That's it. Crank away. Picture yourself flying down that track, flying down the sidewalk or down the side of that mountain, slugging away in the beach, 10 seconds, wind whistling through your face and through your hair. Five seconds, here we go. Three, two, one, and steady, here we go. Slow that down. Gather your breath, gather your heart rate for 20 more seconds and we've got one more sprint. You got this one more high intensity section and you have done it. Ah, nice and easy, 10 seconds. 10 seconds, we're gonna pick up the pace. And four, three, get my bearing, and let's go. Crank away, crank away. Get those feet going. 10 seconds already. So good. Good breath. 10 seconds. This is it, this is the hardest part of the whole thing. Almost over. Five, four, three, two, and time. There we go, nice and steady for two minutes. Two minutes and you have accomplished a wonderful rev up workout. 
Metabolism is gonna be burning for a while after this. Big glass of water, maybe a protein shake. If you like fruit smoothies, be sure to throw some protein in there somehow, some way. Healthy fats, be sure you're representing and eating frequently. Fuel yourself. This is a wonderful way to work out and super fun. But Coach Tim here is gonna tell you straight away, you can't out-train a bad diet. So make sure you're working with the free step to look your best and feel your best. Ah, we're coming up on about one minute left. This is our nice light cool down. All in, we will have burned about 200 calories, which is a great way to start things off. More than anything though, we got everything all revved up. Your mind is gonna be super alert for a while. If it's not already, this wakes you right up. Love to start my day like this. Oh, 45 seconds. Almost sorry it's over. But always such a good feeling of accomplishment when it is. To know that we did it. Tomorrow's another day, but we got all day to enjoy this great feeling. 30 seconds. Nice and light, nice and easy. Ah, oh. deep breath. All right, as we pedal that last few times here, I wanna thank you very much for joining us for this workout. I'm Tim, your Teeter Trainer. Check out the app, the Teeter Move app, as you already have for more great workouts. Keep doing it, keep making it better every day. And don't just add years to your life, add life to your years. All right, everybody, we'll see you next time.